To my groom, the man of my dreams, we've made it to the big day where we become one before the Lord, our family, and friends. A man and wife is what we'll be, and I could not be more thrilled to have you by my side to experience the joys and the sorrows that this life will bring. Thank you for being my best friend, my confidant, my partner, my encourager, and my protector. You are the kind of man that makes me so proud to show off, and the kind of man that would make your dad so proud. Today is a day I desperately wish he could be here. I know he would have been the best father-in-law too. I trust your judgment as you lead our family. You always show how hard of a worker you are and how much you try to provide for our future and the security you make present in our relationship. You are my biggest supporter and encourager and I value your opinions and thoughts on things so much. The memories we have created with each other are something I'll cherish forever. From making funny videos of me fake punching you while you spit wine out of your mouth to look like blood, to talking for hours through the night without even realizing it. From the time you very spontaneously kissed me for the first time after my birthday, to the time you let the little girls at the orphanage in Guatemala paint your fingernails. The way you are with children melts my heart. Thinking about having children can be a little intimidating because I know we want to be great parents. But when I think about the type of father you'll be, I can't wait to fall in love with you all over again when I see you hold our babies. And there isn't anyone else I would want to experience that with, and you are exactly the kind of man I would want our sons to have as an example of what an amazing man looks like. Being able to experience a missions trip to Guatemala with you was an incredible bonding experience. You had such an amazing heart for those people, young and old, you wanted to help them in any way you could, even if it was just to hold their hand and try to speak some Spanish with them and making them smile. Seeing how God worked that week with, was incredible and we'll never forget that time we had together. Thank you for always keeping the Lord at the center of our relationship. I don't know what I would do without you and your guidance and wisdom as you look, as you took on that spiritual leader role in our relationship from the beginning. I'll never forget when I realized I had feelings for you when we were just friends. You rang on my doorbell and looked, and I looked through the peephole and saw you, and my heart skipped a beat and I immediately started fixing my hair. That doesn't just happen with any old friend. But you pursued me through that time and made me feel more precious than rubies. I was continually impressed with your character and the fact that your words lined up with your actions and you lived your life passionately for the Lord. Thank you for always showing me respect, even in times you may as feel as if it's not reciprocated. You are a man of your word, and I know I can trust that you will carry your, our family through the good times and the bad, and I'll be right there beside you the whole way. You bring out the best in me, and you help me see the positive side of things, and remind me that our Creator has us in His hands. I can't believe that today is finally the day I get to call you my husband. I'm the proudest wife around, and I love you more than words can describe. You are my life partner, the one that God has strategically placed in my life, allowing me to have everything in the man that he knew I needed, and I can't wait to see the team we make as a husband and wife. Thank you for always knowing the perfect things to say and always knowing how to make me laugh. I am so blessed to have you as my best friend and my husband. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. To quote that Chris August song, you are my only, my all, for the rest of my days, till my life is through, I want to spend them with you. Lindsay, it seems like yesterday we were sitting in my room joking about our future kids and how we would treat them and we weren't even dating them. We had traveled throughout the states, ventured to our first mission trip together and now this. As I, as I grew up, I prayed for someone who would push me in life, grow with me spiritually, share adventures with me, jo joke with me, cry with me, and share my life with. When I met you, I knew it was something different about you. When I say different, I mean there was a quiet confidence in the Lord that you had, a humbleness that you had that I long for in a woman. An eagerness to seek the Lord, a modesty that is unknown to our society. I knew you were special. Our first conversation, I knew I wanted to continue to have you in my life, and the more I spent with you, I knew I wanted you by my side. As I think about our adventure, we're about to remark on, I am in awe of you daily. The drive you have to finish school, plan a wedding, and put up with me is remarkable. You are the person that no matter how upset I am or how many arguments we have, as soon as I see you smile, I melt. Those blue eyes, gorgeous smiles, and dimples make me cave every time. You have a timeless beauty, and I am humbled 
that I am the person that you have chosen to spend your life with. As I am writing this, I cannot stop smiling and thinking about the person I am marrying. A kind, loving, smart, adventurous, talented, genuine, and beautiful person. The list could go on, but there isn't enough, isn't enough room to continue what I have to say. Thinking about my dad and our wedding makes me happy because I know how much he would have adored you. He would have loved to see you smile and how happy you make me. He would have told me how beautiful you are and how he couldn't wait to welcome you into our family. He would have said how I could have not chosen a better match. I knew all these things because I am my dad's son and these are the things I feel. There's no one that makes me feel the way you do. You light up a room when you walk in and girls get jealous because of your beauty. Your family is such a blessing to me and I couldn't imagine join, joining another. The love that they've shown me embodies that embodies what you showed me on a daily basis. There are so many things that I want to experience within this life and places I want to travel, but without you, it's not complete or worth it. Your passion for adventure excites me. Your zeal for the Lord drives me. Your beauty inside and out humbles me. You are truly the person that I pray for and much more. I am fortunate to share life with you and grow with you. You'll be a great wife and a wonderful mother. If our daughters are half the woman you are, they will be world changers. Lindsay, it is my prayer that the Lord will continue to bless and honor our marriage and our relationship. I pray that we would seek, seek Him in all that we do and consult Him in all our decisions. I pray that we would give Him our first feuds and that we would have the strength to humble ourselves throughout our marriage. I pray that He gives me the strength to be the man of God He's called me to be and lead our family as He desires. My ultimate prayer is that our, our relationship, our marriage, will be a presentation of the gospel and that God will use this and use us in big ways. Lindsay, you are a wonderful woman of God. Your influence goes far greater than you think. You're making a difference in the decisions that you make, and I love you so much because of the person you are. I love you and can't wait to share my life with you until we are old and gray, and I'm getting on your nerves. I, Kyrie, take you, Lindsay. I, Kyrie, take you, Lindsay. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to remain honest and faithful to you. I promise to remain honest and faithful to you. To encourage and inspire you. To encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and to cry with you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. When life seems easy. When life seems easy. And when it seems hard. And when it seems hard. When our love is simple. When our love is simple. And when it is an effort. And when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And to always hold you in the highest regard. And to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today. These things I give to you today. And all the days of our life. And all the days of our life. Lindsay, will you repeat after me? Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> 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 I, Lindsay, take you, Kyrie. I, Lindsay, take you, Kyrie. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to remain honest and faithful to you. I promise to remain honest and faithful to you. To encourage and inspire you. To encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. When life seems easy. When life seems easy. And when it seems hard. And when it seems hard. When our love is simple. When our love is simple. And when it is an effort, and when it is an effort, I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you, and to always hold you in the highest regard. And to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today. And these things I give to you today. In all the days of our life. In all the days of our life. Harry, <laughs> you may kiss your bride. May I present to you, Mr. and Ms. Kyrie Cooper. Kyrie and Lindsay Cooper. Lindsay, it's just an honor for me to be here celebrating with you today. You're my best friend in the whole world, and you're so beautiful inside and out. And Kyrie, thank you for loving her and respecting her and treating her so well. And I wish the best for your marriage, and I speak on behalf of everyone here when I say congratulations on your marriage. So, I just want, I, I don't know Lindsay very well, um, but what I do know is that, um, 
Kyrie's traveled all across the country, um, not traveling, but going from place to place, from uh, hometown to college that was uh, way on this side of the country. Now he's on this side of the country. Um, if, I, if I know one thing, <clears throat> if I know one thing about Kyrie, it's that um, he was led, led from the Lord to do that. So um, I just want to say to you, you're going to have a great life partner, and um, you do have a great life partner. And um, to not be scared when he says um, we need to go somewhere, because um, he, he counsels with the Lord. And